In this video, I'll show you how to use the Valence Desktop Portal from your browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but almost any newer browser like Safari, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox will work just fine. This is the URL of my Valence Desktop Portal login page. This URL will not work for you. Yours will be different and will be given to you by your Valence administrator. Now let me point out a few things on this page. First, your login page may look different than this. For example, you may see your company's logo and colors on this page rather than the Valence logo and this blue color scheme. However, the page should be functionally the same. Depending on the way your administrator has configured the software, you may see a language selector and a forgot password link here. These function in exactly the way you would expect. For the user and password, the most common way to log in is with the same user and password you'd normally use to log in to your terminal emulator or green screen. Your system administrator may have configured this differently and will give you additional instructions on how to log in if necessary. Once logged into the Valence portal, you'll see an area that looks something like this. Let's start with the basics. This area here is called the launch pad. It's obviously where you launch apps from. Each one of these boxes is called an app tile. The app tiles act sort of like the app icons on your mobile phone. You just click the tile and it will launch the app. Now that I've launched an app, I have this control here that we call the Active App Control. It controls the app that is currently running in the portal and has focus. In other words, it's the one I'm seeing here. For now, I'll just click the X to close it. And now I'm back to the launch pad. Before we go any further, I'd like to point out that the app tiles you're seeing here are what a Valence administrator might see. The app tiles you see will of course be different, just like the apps on your mobile phone would be different than mine. Ultimately, what apps you see here will depend on what your administrator has authorized you to use. Apps are grouped by what we call categories. So this is the administration category, utilities category, etc. Again, your categories will be different than what I'm showing here. Another method to launch apps is to use the app drawer. The app drawer is accessed by clicking this button. Apps are listed in the same order as they are on the launch pad. Now let's say your administrator has given you access to so many apps that they become difficult to find just by scrolling and looking around. In that case, you can use the favorites feature. It's common, even if you have access to many apps, to have a handful that you use frequently. In that case, you can find the app tile, hover over it with your mouse, and click the star in the upper right. Then that app will be added to your favorites list. You'll be able to start those apps by clicking the favorites star icon in the top bar like this. The final way of finding and launching apps is by using search. Just click the search icon here, start typing any part of the name of the app and choose it from the suggestion list. Now let's take a look at how to open multiple apps at the same time and navigate between them. To demonstrate, I'll open two apps from my launch pad, Spool File Viewer and Customer Maintenance. To start the first one, I'll just click Spool File Viewer App Tile. Now I can use any of the methods I discussed previously to open another app. I could find it in the app drawer or search for it. If I wanted to go back to the launch pad, I can simply click the home icon, which will be this valence icon by default, or it could be your company's logo. Now that I am back to the launch pad, I'll click the customer maintenance app tile. Now you see my running app control switch to customer maintenance, but the spool file viewer app that I opened previously is also still running. I know that because I see over here that what we call the running apps control has appeared. And a little two here means I have two apps running. I can use this running apps control to switch between the running apps like this. Whatever I'm doing in an app when I switch will be left that way when I come back to it. There's also another way of switching between running apps. You can use the active app control. If you click the icon on the left side of the active app control, other apps that are open will appear in the list. This behaves a bit different than the running apps control in that it excludes the app that is already in focus. Okay, let's move on. This icon will take you full screen, so you have more area to work with in a single valence app. To exit out of full screen, just press the escape key on your keyboard. Depending on your screen size, you may also see an icon for split screen mode here. When you're using a display that's large enough, valence will let you have a split screen, left side and right side, so you can use two apps side by side. This next icon is the user settings control. I have a capital Q on mine because my user profile starts with Q. For you, you might see one or two letters in the circle with your initials or the first letter of your user profile. Once I click this, there's a few things I can do. I'll start from the right side of this row of buttons and work my way to the left to explain them. 
Clicking this information button will tell you about the version of software you're using. This lock button is to lock your screen. This is useful if you'll be away for any significant time, like during a break or lunch, and you're concerned about security. When you're back, you can just unlock it by putting your password in again, and then it'll bring you back where you had left off. Your screen might get automatically locked after a certain period of time based on how your administrator has configured that feature. The next icon is Change Password. That's an obvious one that really doesn't need any further explanation. This last one here is where your settings live. When I click this cogwheel icon, we have a few different things we can do here. You can change the portal appearance, you can auto start certain apps when you log in, and you can also set up two-step authentication. There is a separate video on how to use two-step authentication, so in this video I'll just explain portal appearance and auto start apps. Let's start with the portal mode. The default mode is that there's no tabs and app switching works the way I've previously shown. So let's see how the tabs mode changes things. When I change the mode, I need to log out and back on to activate that change, so I'll do that now. Now you'll see I have a tab section here, with the first tab listed as Launchpad. Now when I open an app, you'll see that I get a new tab and there's no longer any active app control. Now to get back to the Launchpad, I can just click the Launchpad tab and navigate between the open apps by clicking the tabs. Some users prefer this way of navigating between apps, but the downside is that a significant portion of your screen is given up to this tab section. Going back to the user settings, the next one we will look at is the theme. There are just two, light and dark, and each one of those has a monochrome feature to only show portal icons in black and white. Moving on to auto start apps, this is intended for those cases where you might have one or more apps you just need to have open immediately every time you log in. I'll select a couple apps to auto start, save that, then log in again and see how it works. There you go. That's a few seconds saved every time you log in. That's it for that line of icons. Then the last thing we'll look at here is the environment. If your administrator has assigned you to only one environment, then you'll just see the name of the environment here, and then you can ignore this area as it will never change for you. If you have multiple environments to pick from, say a live environment, a test environment, various different company entities, just to list some examples, your administrator might allow you to select that here. If you do have multiple environments assigned, you'll have a button like I do. So if this is a clickable button, you can click it and choose the available environments from a list. For example, I have a base environment and a testing environment. Once I change the environment, all running apps will be closed. Then when I reopen them, I will be running them against the currently selected environment. That's all there is to using the Valence Desktop Portal. Thanks for watching.